Hi, ladies. I'm sorry for all the confusion this week. Um, I had a sciatica attack, and then Friday we were busy, and I had to go upstairs. So um, the only thing that you might not have gotten in your pack was this little white card. So if you have some white cardstock or construction paper, it would be really helpful. And also, we're going to need some markers or crayons or colored pencils, um, whatever you have. But um, this is what we're making. It's a little uh, ornament and it has some fake snow. And on one side, I have a penguin and on the other side, it just says white Christmas and I put some stickers and um, like a uh, cut card uh, on it for some wishes. Now, um, what I have here, these are called Dazzles and I get them from a paper company called Paper Wishes and they're really fun to work with. They have different kinds for the seasons and for different crafts that you might be making. But I chose the penguin only because I had enough of them to give to everybody so we could do penguins together. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take your penguin and take it off like that so it's all outlined. And it has sticky on the back. So you're just going to stick it to the paper. It, it's very sticky, so it might stick to your hands, but once you get it off, it's fine. And it looks like this. Now, if you want, you could keep your penguin all white. It's up to you. But um, I chose to color it, color him in. So I'm going to use my markers to color in the penguin. And this one I already did, as you can see, it's the same penguin. I just put uh, black and white. I, I call it not white, white's on the paper, but I put black on him and a little orange for his nose. And I put a little pink in for his mouth. So uh, if you wanna do that, you can do that now. And I'm gonna do mine. I have some markers here. So I'm just going to color in his tuxedo because penguins have tuxedos, so I'm told. If I had a bow tie, I'd put it in the middle of him, but I don't. Okay, and then I'm going to do the top of his head. And I'm going to keep his face white. Okay, so there's my penguin, black and white. Makes a little bit of a difference when you color them in. Now I'm going to use my orange to do his nose and his feet. And then I'm going to take a little pink and put it in his mouth. If you want, you could put some little dots for some rosy cheeks. And this is my penguin. So I'm going to cut him out. And I usually leave like a um, 
a little outline when I cut out so I don't cut the lines because then he, I don't know, he stands out a little bit more to me. Plus I'm afraid I'm gonna cut some of the decal off, so. I just see I leave a little uh, on the outside. I guess almost like a frame, would you call it? Okay, so here's my snow, uh, my snowman, my penguin, and he's all cut out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the circle that I gave you, and depending on which side you want to put him on, you could put him on the, um, uh, I think I'm going to use this side because I like the black against this. And you just take some, you're going to take some glue. I have what they call crafter's tape. It's nice because you could just roll on and it's two sided. So it sticks, but you can use tape, you can use glue, whatever you have on hand. And I'm going to stick him. Stick him wherever you want. I think I'm going to put him to the side like that. Okay, and then I have some uh, little stars and snowflakes. So I'm gonna put the star on a piece of white and I'm gonna color it in with uh, some silver. Where did it go now? Oh. So I have like a grayish pen. I'm going to color the star in. If, if I gave you any stars, you could do what you want. Leave them, like I said, like the penguin. I'm gonna color this one in and let it dry a little bit. We have some snowflakes here, put one there, and I'll put these little stars here. So it's all up to you for the way you want to decorate them. I'm going to cut out my star here.
If you wanted to, you can even take a picture um, of someone and put it inside the ornament, just like you would this picture, which makes a cute gift. Okay, so I have my star. I'm gonna glue that on with some tape. And I'm gonna put that here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put it on the Q-tip. I'm kind of just adding this because um, I have some glitter here. Now, if we were together, you could use all this stuff, but unfortunately, COVID has us apart, so this is the best I can do. But I have a little bit of glitter, so I'm going to stick it on the star, sprinkle it. and take a piece of scrap paper and I'm gonna just tap it off and let it dry. And I have a little hat for my snowman. So I'm gonna take this and peel it off. You might have a scarf or a hat. I don't know. I gave everybody something different. But I'm going to put the hat on his head. Like right about. Well, what am I doing? I want to put this on the paper. On the cardstock. Mm, let's see gets a little sticky. Sometimes you can pick it back up. And there we go. But you have to be careful because you don't want to rip it. It's pretty pliable though. There we go. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to color this. I think I'll use a how about we'll make him a green hat? Oh, yeah, I like that. We have some new cameras at the library that they set up on our computers, so um, I'm able to point this down so you could see what I'm doing because I felt like I kept having to hold it up for you guys. So hopefully, I hope this um, helps you uh, to see. But And I think I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that circle there and just put some um, I'll put some glitter there too to make it sparkly. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I have to let this dry a little bit. I'm just going to And I'll do the same thing. I'll just keep a, like a border around the outside of it so I don't cut into the vinyl. I think that's what it is. I think it's vinyl. But um, I actually got this idea from the Paper Wishes website. I saw it and I thought, oh, this would be cute. Now you don't have to, like I said, put it on the paper. It just brings a pop to the color. So it doesn't blend in with the back. Oh, he looks so cute. Okay, let me get rid of this garbage. Okay, and I'm gonna glue on his hat. Can you see I'm going to glue his hat like right there. There we go. There's my little penguin and his scene. And now I'm going to turn him to the other side. And I have some red here. It's plain. So what I thought I'd do is I have this little saying, snow much love. And I think I'm going to glue that down just like that with my crafter's tape. And I just want to make sure it's the same going the same way because you're going to be able to see it from side to side. And I'll put some snowflakes on this side. Okay, and I'll put one of these on so it goes with the other side. Maybe put one there. Okay, so I have this side that says snow much love, and then I have this side with my penguin. So now what I'm going to do is I have this, um, it's called acetate paper, and it's see-through. And you could get this at Michael's, that's where I got it. And what you do is you just take your circle that you just um, decorated, and you're gonna take some tape or um, glue, whatever you have. I have my tape here. And I'm going to put it right on the acetate paper. And I'm going to stick my circle right on there. So see, you can see that side and then this side is open. I didn't really do it too straight. Try and peel it off without hurting it. Okay. I need to get this more centered. There we go. Okay, that's better. So 
he's more centered now. Okay. So I'm just going to move this. And these, because I didn't use them. And I'm going to take my, um, excuse me, I left my There we go. I'm going to take my ornament globe. It has two sides and they join together. Now this is the tricky part because I'm going to fill some of it up. Now I gave you snow, but and this seems to be very um, like a balloon staticky. I don't know why, but I filled it a little bit and then I'm going to take some glue because I found that if you don't put glue on this, it tends to open. So I took a little bit of glue and I went all along the outer rim. Not a lot, just, you know, enough to keep it together. Okay, so I put some glue, as you can see, around the edge. I'm going to take my um, middle and I'm going to line the top up with the handle like that. Oh, so you got to be careful. I forgot that I had the snow in there. And this is what I mean by tricky because some of the snow gets stuck on the, the, the glue. I'm going to put a little bit more into my other side. And I'm going to take the side that I glued down. And I'm going to join it. Making a mess here. Didn't work worked better the last time. <laughs> Let's try that again. See what I mean? The snow, these little balls stick to you. I'm gonna take this off and try and clean this up first. It might take you one or two tries. I should have let it dry a little more before I put the top on. But I was impatient, trying to teach my grandson to be patient. We say that means to wait. But of course, I'm not waiting. <laughs> Okay, so let's try this again. I don't think you have to, because you don't need a lot of glue. So, put that there. And then let me clean this one off. If you want, maybe you can put a little glue on the, the other rim too. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to try it again, all right? Maybe if you hold it down. There we go. 
see now that you just have to kind of turn it to get it to Well, when I did, before I was showing you guys, came out perfect and just stuck together for me. I don't know why this one is giving me such a problem. So let's try this again. I'm going to stick that there. There we go. Now you just have to let it dry. And then what I did was I took some um, took like a, a wipe and wiped off the glue that was on the, the ball itself. So there's the wall. And I'm going to take some ribbon, which I gave you. Put it through. You might have to put a little hole in the um, plastic, the acetone paper, just so that it goes through with the glue. just going to tie a ribbon well I'm having problems with this this ornament it's not staying closed but there we go nope well, this one did it the right way. So I made a ribbon here, tied it to the top, 
And then the little gold elastic I gave you to tie as a um, hanger. Um, so I hope it all works out. You just, I think you should let the one side dry a little before you put the other side down. I'm kind of trying, I don't want to say rush, but I don't want to take too much of your time up. So I hope everybody has a um, blessed holiday season and stay safe and we'll see you in January next year. Okay, bye-bye.